All right, we're here with Mark, and we are going to talk about what to expect when you receive a pump station and the things to look for. Mark? All right, so when you get your pump station, you can go through and check, check most of the items that are inside here. I would start by doing what I call a tug test. You're gonna go onto your bigger wires, Make sure, make sure that it's not powered up. Tug, these things go down the road on a, pick, on a flatbed truck at about 80 miles an hour and vibration makes everything come loose. So you wanna go through, make sure everything is tight. Your motor leads, wires to the contactors, into the filters, check your connections over here. Just give them a slight tug, if nothing comes apart. You're good if it does and you need the wire diagram to relocate that. You should have access to that. Um, everything is numbered so that it should go back together fine. Just check to make sure nothing's falling apart on this stuff. And then go over to the other side on the, on the mechanical side. Do the same thing. Go through, look for bolts, do your tug tests on here, on your filter, anything on the covers on here, make sure everything is good. What we will do before we ship it is we will drain the, the PRV. Make sure that that is actually turned on so when you fill it up, it fills up with water. Any connections on here, check all your bolts, check all your, all your fittings, make sure it's tight. Once you throw power on it and get it running, everything should be just fine. And this is your flush line off the filter. They should make sure that that's no chintzy uh, pipe down there. It's gotta be really secure, correct? Correct. Okay, let's keep moving down. What else do we have here? All right, everything on here, anything that's in blue is our test manifold. Um, so everything else is all part of the station. When you receive the pumps, make sure that none of the air releases are bent. Make sure the handles are tight. Check all the bolts, make sure everything's tight in there. Same with that. Uh, really just go around the whole thing, throw a wrench on it and make sure that there's, everything is tight so that when you power it up, start pumping water, you don't have a bunch of leaks. The, let me sneak through here. This valve here, if it is going to an inlet flush, that might be something that you have to adjust as far as the amount of water that goes through there because we don't put a meter on it. All we do is check to make sure we have water flowing through it. So based on the water quality that you have, you might have to open that valve up a little bit more to get a little bit more volume going through it. And how do they open that up? Uh, uh, this particular model, just you use a screwdriver on top, you just open it up. This, this right here is a bypass for it, so if you open that up, it will actually open the valve and then the water will come out, but you will get water that comes out of there. Otherwise, it's electronically con controlled where it will open on demand based off PLC settings. Okay. And this is a transducer over here on this gauge? This is your, uh, right there. That's our pressure trans, that's our inlet pressure transducer. So. And have you already set the flow meter height and all that? They shouldn't have to mess around with that when it arrives, correct? Right. The, the flow meter is dead industrial. That is gonna be calibrated based off of our test manifold, our certified gauges over here. Uh, we can we can adjust the K-valve through the PLC to make that match there. That shouldn't have to be adjusted. Um, and what about the high pressure relief valves and all that? Have you already set all the control valves and all that? The PRV is gonna be set at 10 PSI over station set point. So what, what we do is we'll, we'll bleed off all the air. We will adjust it um, so that it will open up at 10 over. We will drain it when we're done, so that valve might be closed, so you just have to make sure that it's gonna get opened back up so that it actually functions. 
But everything, the PRV set, that is normally set. The flow meter is done. The EBVs are opening and closing like they should. Everything gets tested to the point where when you receive it, you should just be able to power it up and turn it on. The VAF filter system that we have on this, the amount of pressure loss to cause the flush is already set. That's been taken care of. And that's on this valve assembly on the other side, correct? On the other side, yes. This. And what about the EBV valve? Any adjustments on that? No. The EBVs, all we do is make sure that they open and close when they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. There's really no adjusting on this adjustment on this part. If it's on a vertical turbine station, it's a little different story. Anything else, Mark? Nope, I'm Fantastic. good. Fantastic, thank you.